good you guys so today i'm taking you guys on a drive a pov drive uh let me know if you guys like the camera angle because i literally have the fucking gopro on a hat sitting on my fucking nose right now so it's a little bit uncomfortable i'm trying to get used to it but uh yeah it's a pov for you guys so basically what i wanted to talk to you guys about was should i trade this in for m3 because as you guys know the g80 prices are dropping hold on let me do a poll for you guys that score might be hitting a little down trip sounded good don't know why my burbles didn't kick in right there that should be happening sometimes but typical uh, bmw owner you know gotta piss everybody off but basically yeah i was thinking about trading this in because as you guys know it's a 2015 so pretty soon it'll be like an eight-year-old car um not that there's anything wrong with having an eight-year-old car and there's not that there's anything wrong with this car but um basically the m3 prices have been dropping as you guys can see like the the g80 prices the cheapest that i've seen one i think today was 73k uh i've seen some f90 m5s uh hitting the 50s uh you can find the f80 f82 like a like not that great of a spec pre-lci for like 35 or less 40 or less and then if you want a nice F80, you're obviously spending 50 to 60. But yeah, for, uh, since G80s are dropping, I can literally get a G80 M3 for what I'd spend for like a nice M3 CS F80. And the G80 is literally, besides looks, obviously they're subjective. But in my opinion, the G80 performance wise blows the F80 out of the water in every aspect. Especially with that new S55 engine. As you guys know, unopened uh, verbals, hold on, hold on. But yeah, as you guys know, unopened, the S55 is capable of a thousand horsepower. Um, I believe the stock turbos on that car hit like 800 or 900 horsepower just with uh, tune. Obviously, you'd have to ship the DME to like, I think the Netherlands or like Russia or somewhere to get it unlocked. But um, definitely, definitely would be worth it. That's probably one of the only cars I'd get rid of this for. Because as you guys know, the 6 Series, as you guys could see, it's like the nicest interior out of any of the f chassis car aside from maybe like the x5 or the x6 because those have like the ambient factory lighting but yeah um other than pretty much i wouldn't get any f series other than like a f80 even though it's not as nice in the interior i've driven an f80 f82 and i love the way those cars drive uh, i have an e92 335 and the f80 is even lighter than that so that just goes to show you how light the F80 chassis is. Um, they're also very nimble. It's like literally the opposite of this car. This car feels very heavy. It's, it actually is pretty good for a bigger car, but it's nowhere near as nimble as like an F80 or F82 M3, M4. So yeah, let me let me know what you guys think in the comments. What, what do you guys think I should go for? Uh, G80, F80. Also, I don't know if you guys saw, but a lot of people didn't like the the new M2 when it came out. I actually really, really like the new M2, the way it looks. Um, what's it called? It has S58. It's very light. The the new M2 uh, kind of reminds me of the the TTRS, the Audi, the small one, because it has like that crazy ass engine and that that light ass chassis form factor car. So that would be a good option to get rid of this for too um also i could keep this potentially get rid of the 335 obviously the z4 i don't plan on keeping long term uh that's just the car i got to flip enjoy and i've never had a convertible before so i pretty much got that to enjoy it but yeah let me know what you guys think would be a good replacement for this because that's um that's what i'm looking for right now As you guys can see, typical Miami traffic. People don't know how to drive. 
my washer fluid light comes on actually the car it does have washer fluid but since it's so twerky it pushes all the fluid back and then the sensor reads it as empty and then i'll get that code but yeah for the most part this car has been bulletproof the, the entire time i've owned it the only thing that i've had to do preventatively i did the water pump and thermostat even though they're not prone to fail on the these newer n55s i still did it just for peace of mind um i also had to do the the belt pulley kit from fcp euro uh not uh the belt wasn't squeaking or anything but the pulley looked like it had a lot of play on it um like the pulley was shaking a little bit it, it, it wasn't making a noise but the the seeing the pulley shake like that got me a little bit paranoid so that's why i did it preventatively as you guys know with bmws you kind of want to uh keep an eye on your car and tackle stuff before it actually breaks because if it breaks it can lead to like a more expensive problem uh, later on down the line but um once you tackle things preventatively uh these cars are pretty reliable especially the n55 uh, i haven't really had any major issues with this car um unless it's like an issue caused by like an error or you know like a shop like installing something and like they'll mess something up but other than that yeah it's been pretty pretty bulletproof probably the most reliable bmw that i've ever owned i've owned a couple of my day so yeah let me know what you guys think would be a good replacement for this car i've been thinking either f80 f82 if i want to keep the budget low or if i want to get rid of this i would um either get a new m2 a used g80 m3 or f90 m5 so let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see um and yeah these are the plans for the future of this channel so let me know what you guys think and i uh i definitely read all the comments i take your guys input seriously so let me know what you guys think should i keep this car keep doing six series stuff because honestly i feel like i've done almost everything or everything that i can do to the six series at this point so i don't know it's um it's kind of tough because you know like uh what blows up is when you guys when i do like install videos or you know what i mean like doing the mods but all the mods are already done so i'd be at so what i do for this car is i go back and i make the videos after the fact you know so if i could um what's it called get a new chassis that would be ideal just content wise you know like lots of new content because i do tend to go crazy with anything that i own so um yeah so let me know what you guys think and that should wrap up this pov drive or at least the talking point the, the major talking points of it but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this one and i'll catch you guys in the next one rnr motorsports i'm out